Hi friends, I'm going to try making chicken curry today. I bought this Mark Nonya um, fish curry sauce. Actually, they do sell the chicken curry sauce. It's just that when I went, they didn't carry the stock for the chicken. So I bought the fish one. But I'm going to use chicken for this uh, uh, dish today. So I have actually prepared the ingredients here. Uh, took it out. So I have the fresh chicken thigh and then the potato and then the tomato uh, ladies fingers and spinach and the uh, bean curd roll and coconut milk so we're going to do it uh, and let's give it a try now i'm going to wash the vegetables <coughs> These are Chinese spinach and usually when they after you buy right there's quite a lot of sand inside so normally I would wash three times. Yep. You can see from the first round there's a lot of sand inside. I'll do the potatoes. Going to remove the skin on the potatoes. item is the chicken mm, but I think I will settle this later on so let me handle the lady's fingers so these are the lady's fingers so now wash them and then I will normally cut away the top and the ends okay and then just cut them into half each I didn't use the big ones, I prefer to use small cherry tomatoes so there's no need to cut wash and then put inside okay okay next is the sauce of the, the chicken so These are chicken thigh and uh, no skin. So wash in. Normally I would trim, cut away um, the fats that are at the edge. So I see that this um, these two pieces don't really have any fats, so it's quite all right. As each piece is quite big, so I would actually maybe cut them into smaller size. Then it's, it can cook better in the rice cooker later. Okay, so now I've prepared all the ingredients and I'm going to turn on the rice cooker. Uh, I'm going to set to soup function because uh, this curry chicken curry has got a lot of sauce so it's like soup to me so I'm gonna turn it to a soup function here and it says two hours 
for the cook time. So I'm going to put in the first thing. I'm going to put in the meat. Okay, put in the meat. And I'm going to put in the vegetables. Finally, I'm going to put in the sauce. So it says here, open the sauce. Okay, hang on now. Okay, each pack comes with a sauce that is like this. So what I'm going to do is to um, uh, prepare the sauce with the coconut milk first so I'm going to pour out some coconut milk not too much let's try a hundred ml first because I do not want my curry chicken curry to be too uh, liquid I prefer it slightly thicker Okay, now we're going to prepare the uh, curry sauce with the coconut milk. And uh, I'm gonna pour in the coconut milk. Okay. I'm gonna mix the sauce with the milk. milk. So you see, it's not too, it's not too uh, fluid. It's quite thick, so it's okay. I'm going to pour it in to the rice cooker. It seems like not enough. So what I'll do is to add some more oops. Add some more coconut milk into the 80 ml. I'm using spinach and uh, spinach when it's cooking right it actually come uh, have has got quite a lot of uh, water inside as well so the <coughs> the that's why I try not to put too much water but also it's important to have enough water inside uh, rather enough milk so let's give this a try so it's about 100, 180 ml of coconut milk right let's okay let's start this okay let's okay let's start i already choose soup and it's i press the start button and it says two hours cook time so let's see two hours later we come back and take a look See? Okay, two hours has passed. Uh, let's take a look and see whether it's cooked and also how does the taste, uh, how does it taste like, okay? Let's open. Uh, now, it's, now it's actually on warm, keep warm, so it's okay to open the lid. And wow, look at this. That, right? It smells good. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to carry it out and put on a coaster 
and then and serve it to the dining table. Okay. Let's see. The chicken is at the bottom. It looks good. And okay. I've moved the pot over to the dining area and we'll have it with bread later. I've already I've actually added some more coconut milk later on before starting to cook. But I realized that it's a little bit watery now. So what happens is probably the next time when I cook this dish again, I will reduce the amount of coconut milk to mix with the uh, curry sauce. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, See you again in the next video. Take care. If you like my clips and you like my content, please remember to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.